Today's grocery market share release covers the 12 weeks to the 9th of July 2023. Over those 12 weeks, the market has grown by 10.7%, very similar to the 10.4% in the latest four weeks. Now, it is pleasing to report that like-for-like like FMCG inflation has fallen again, now down to 14.9%, so still a huge burden on consumers, but moving in the right direction. And the rate of fall is accelerating and is the fastest in the last year. In attempting to avoid the full inflationary impact, we have talked a lot about trading down to cheaper own label products and the huge growth of discounters. Promotions haven't, up until now, been a large part of the saving money story. This month, however, for the first time in two years, there is a year-on-year -year increase in the amount spent on deal. It remains to be seen if this is a blip or the start of promotions becoming much more important in the pricing fight. Much of the focus recently has instead been on loyalty cards, but the full benefits of usage of those are becoming ever more linked to offers like club card and nectar prices. Grocery brands too, after losing for some considerable time to own label ranges, will be thinking about the ways they can grab back some of those share losses. It does seem like a distant memory, but June was the hottest month on record for the UK, meaning barbecue weather finally arrived, and the outdoor favourites of burgers and dips saw a surge in sales. Less welcome has been the pollen season, with a boom in hay fever remedies too. Meanwhile, sports fans warmed up for Wimbledon by more strawberries, interestingly one product on the supermarket shelves where prices have remained fairly stable. Now, frequency of shopping trips remains below pre-pandemic levels, and the rate that supermarket visits are increasing has slowed to a trickle. At the current 1% rate of frequency growth, we won't be back to 2019-style shopping habits until 2028, which does rather suggest this is a permanent change. Shopping less often, but buying more when we do. Aldi again lead the retailer race slightly ahead of Lidl, with both discounters slowing a bit this month and facing some even harder annual comparisons over the summer and autumn. The big three retailers are once again incredibly close, but Sainsbury's have edged ahead of rivals Asda and Tesco, and in doing so, they match the market growth rate, with Sainsbury's holding market share for the third consecutive month. Co-op and Waitrose growth accelerated this period, meaning the best performance of both of them since April 2021. Iceland were another retailer to main share, while Ocado sales growth has slowed. Visit our website to see current and historical market shares, or contact us to receive grocery market share directly to your email inbox every four weeks. Join us next time for a further inflation update, to see if we really have reached a promotional turning point, and to see which retailers are winning the summer sales battle.